In this two-part series, we've been looking at how to use Datadog Synthetics to proactively monitor the health and performance of your web applications. Today, in part two, I'll be sharing with you a tip on how to create a browser test to simulate user journeys to test that your application is available and working properly for your users. Starting at the Datadog Synthetics homepage, let's hit New Test and choose Browser Test. The first step is to define the URL I wish to test, in my case, shoppist.io. I can give my test a name, maybe check out shoppist checkout process. And finally, apply any tags. As we saw previously, tags are key within Datadog to help tie this data together alongside with my infrastructure metrics, application traces, and logs. So let's pick the shoppist environment tag and tie it to an additional tag for the service that we are monitoring. Next, I can define the device type and location I wish to test from. I'm going to choose laptop large and leave the default locations. I can choose between managed locations as well as private locations. The final steps to my configuration are to choose the frequency of my test, let's do every 15 minutes, and then my alert conditions and notification. Here I can specify a message, our checkout process has broken, and then I can include any of my notifications into Slack, PagerDuty, or email. Let's record the test. This step is very intuitive. With no code, I can replicate the journey a user would take to test certain elements along the way. So let's start recording. Choose the item I wish to purchase. And at this stage, I can add extra assertions to my test. For example, I can test that an element is present. I can test that the ability to add to cart is available and working correctly. Let's hit add to cart. I can navigate to my cart. And at this stage, I may want to replicate a user interaction. In this case, applying a discount code. So let's enter the discount code and hit apply. Again, I can add an assertion to, to, to confirm that the text is present on the page and I can maybe put discount. And apply. Finally, I can hit my checkout process, let the process go through and validate that we got the thank you message. So again, I can test that an element is present and include the your order has been placed. There are a series of different options that I can define as part of my tests. I can include navigation to other pages, special actions, adding in variables to my uh, process, as well as adding wait times and subtests. But let's stick to this simple example for now. Let's launch that test. This test will now continue to run at the defined interval and report back on any failures or errors. Let's take a look at one I made earlier. Here you can see we're testing the same site and the same process. I've included a more structured message detail for when the notification does trigger that gives me links to various different time boards, a test, a link to the test, as well as some key information that might be useful to help troubleshoot this issue. When exploring the detail, I then get a breakdown of the different timings, the overall uptime, and then a waterfall breakdown per test. Here I'm seeing the latest test. I'm presented with the screenshots relevant to each stage as this is running from a real browser. I can navigate through, see the journey that was taken and see the items that were selected. In this case, the test succeeded. Everything was okay. You will also see some key aspects such as the resources information. On every page load, we're also capturing all of the resources loaded as part of this page, along with key timings, duration, and size. As a final stage where we do have issues, we also correlate back to the APM trace data. This has been correlated with an APM transaction, and I'm therefore presented with the entire backend process that was run as part of this process. 